Advanced Jet Trainer and Light Attack Aircraft or her jet is a single engine, tandem seat with modern avionics and high-performance features, fulfills a critical role in modern pilot training through its superior performance characteristics. Combat Variant provides a battlefield force multiplier through a wide range of mission capabilities and an extensive payload. Her jet project has started to fulfill international and Turkish Air Force requirements by replacing aging T-38s as advanced jet trainers and F-5s as acrobatic team aircrafts with a modern high-performance multirole aircraft. In addition to these, her jet capabilities also extend to replacing aging jet trainers, majority of which are 20 or more years old. Being used as advanced jet trainers due to the increasing number of fifth-generation aircrafts like TFX, F-35, etc. And their changing configurations. Considering the multirole aircraft market, Turkish Aerospace has started her jet program with the intention of targeting the potential in the market by benefiting from its experience and skills on cost-effective design, production of trainer and light aircraft system. Turkish Aerospace Industries has also developed a testing simulator for engineering the Herjet, the advanced jet trainer and light attack aircraft. The company is completing several projects using domestic sources from design to production, like that of the Herjet project itself. Within the scope of the program, a simulator called Herjet 270 was developed. Equipped with artificial intelligence infrastructure, the simulator will contribute to the ergonomics of the jet's design by taking feedback from test pilots. It will also collect data for future training simulators. The simulator, which consists of less costly parts of the original aircraft while still containing its latest technological developments, will also be able to instantly detect errors encountered by pilots during test runs, a first for the defense industry. Thanks to its real-time software, size and features, along with its wide viewing angle, existing risks will be identified and eliminated during the development phase. The integration of the simulator's avionic and flight control software, screens, cockpit components and communication equipment was completed by TAI's prototype office. Attila Doan the Thai deputy general manager responsible for aircraft projects, told Anadolu Agency that the Herjet will be Turkey's first supersonic aircraft. The company aims to produce two prototypes with one capable of flying by the end of 2022. Speaking on expected contributions from the Herjet engineering simulator to the project, Doan said, we have to develop the flight control algorithm and software and the avionics software before the plane is produced and assembled. The 270-degree engineering simulator we developed for Herjet provides us with a greater capability to make flight control algorithms, software and avionics software with the input of test pilots. Thai engineers have performed very well not only in terms of aircraft development but also in terms of developing such infrastructures, he added. In addition, Sterling Dynamics has also been awarded a new contract from Turkish Aerospace Industries to provide technical assistance in the areas of loads and aeroelastics for the Herjet aircraft program. The Herjet is a twin-seat, single-engine supersonic advanced trainer and light combat aircraft, which will replace the Turkish Air Force's T-38 trainers. This contract builds on previous support provided by Sterling Dynamics, which was initial consultancy to support tie-up to the Herjet's preliminary design review. Under the new contract, we will be supporting TAI's engineering team as they work towards critical design review.
Our engineers will be providing support in several formats involving training and guidance, expert review, and off-site work packages. Technical areas of interest include flight and gust loads, buffet, flutter, and validation testing. We are well placed to carry out this work due to our extensive experience supporting new aircraft design programs across a range of aircraft through to certification and having an extensive background and proficiency in aircraft loads and aeroelastics. Henry Hackford, Sterling's Aerospace Technical Services Business Unit Manager commented, We are delighted to have the opportunity to work tie again on their indigenous aircraft development program. The Herjet contract is the realization of a long-standing dialogue with Thai and provides an exceptional opportunity for us to demonstrate our key strengths. The general manager of the Turkish Aerospace Industry and board member, Temel Kotil, provided new information about the Evolution Jet Herjet, which is still under development. Kotil stated that the Herjet Jet Evolution aircraft will be seen this year with its body-mounted engine. According to SavumaSanais.com, within the scope of the Herjet program, the Eurojet EJ200 turbofan engine was not on the agenda. In connection with these developments, the F404 turbofan engine manufactured by General Electric will be used in the Herjet. The Herjet Aircraft Critical Design Review, called CDR, is planned for 2021. In 2021, its first prototype, a number of rigorous tests await, such as static wind tunnel test, air ventilation wind tunnel test. The first prototype of the aircraft is expected to fly in December 2022, and the second prototype is expected to fly in January to February 2023. Delivery of the first aircraft to the Turkish Air Force is planned for early 2025. To date, on the 1 per 10 scale model of Static Wind Tunnel, Air Net Wind Tunnel, Low Speed Wind Tunnel, Flight Control Act, Flight Simulation Model Development, 270 Degree Simulator, Initial Load Cycle and First Structural Analysis Cycle have been successful done. Thai will develop four different Herjet configurations namely, Jet Evolution, Acroteam or Turkish Stars, Combat Readiness Transition, and Light Attack. Due to the Turkish Air Force Command's need for the Jet Evolution aircraft, which was a major factor in the birth of the program, the study is progressing in a configuration-oriented manner. <laughs>